Today I'm going to talk to you about anti-slicing drills. The primary reason why somebody would slice the ball is because their club face is not square at impact, it's open. And most of the time it's open because your body opens up a little too soon or your shoulders and upper body open up too soon, causing the club face to be open at impact. So one of the drills that you can do, I call a split grip or a grip separation. You want to make sure that your left hand is on there in its normal position and then you take about a three finger separation on the grips. What this does when you're hitting golf balls is it allows the club face to rotate. It allows your forearms to be able to rotate. It allows your shoulders to be more square at impact as well. So that's a great drill to do if you slice the ball and then how to wean yourself off that is to go to a two finger separation grip. It might be a couple weeks when you're in the three, three finger uh, separation grip, then go to a two finger separation grip, and then go to a one finger separation grip, and then go all the way back up to a neutral position. I have several of my students who are slicers of the ball that to this day still use the split grip as their primary grip when they're driving the ball out on the golf course. There's, it's totally acceptable to do and if it gets the job done for you then that's what we try to do to help reduce the amount of slice that gets put on the ball. Another drill that you can do to help cure a slice is to do what I call a closed stance drill. Uh, as we talked about, the primary reason why somebody would slice the ball is because their body opens up too quickly. Uh, most people that play the game of golf actually even open their body more to help the ball start out more to the left for a right-handed golfer and then it makes the ball curve even more and what you want to actually do to cure a slice is actually close your stance. As you actually turn so that both of your feet are pointed away from the golf ball you would feel like your back is to the target but it's a closed stance drill and what that means is when your club strikes the golf ball your shoulders are actually going to be in a square position instead of open which helps create an open club face. So this would be a closed stance drill setting up here. Your shoulders are closed to the golf ball meaning your back is to the target and then you would just hit golf balls this way. And you can wean yourself off this drill by turning your feet a little less closed turning your feet a little less close, and then working your way back all the way to a neutral position. And by this time, I would say over the course of three or four weeks, you should be able to have your shoulders more square at impact um, after doing that closed stance drill. And that will help cure a slice.